So ladies and gentlemen, welcome to our video of understanding the compatibility, the horoscope matching between air signs, which is what? Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius. And I thought I had covered it, but I think I covered it a little bit uh, on my Keras vlogs. But people wanted to know, even though they get along, give us more details. You guys deserve that. Okay. So uh, we're going to talk about that. And remember, I'm on Spotify. So if you have a Spotify app, check me out under Keras channel. And also subscribe to me on Odyssey, O-D-Y-S-E-E. Which is a brand new next to YouTube. Okay. And uh, you can check out my Keras vlogs where I put full version of this video at this link here under course section. So these are my uncensored vlogs. Okay. Where I'm covering, we're going to be going to much details about horoscope matching. So when it comes to air signs, and I told you guys before that Venus, Mercury, and Saturn. Uh, are like these Asura friendships, okay? It's the friendships that is more tight. Like you guys would know, even when you watch a movie sometimes, you know, like even if you watch Mahabharata, you know, Karan and Duryodhan, how Duryodhan took him and Karan was like, wow, thank you for taking me in. You know, thank you for giving me respect. And they became really tight for him. That's how this friendship is. And they all have awkward stories. Even Mercury that I was telling you about being a legitimate child. But actually Mercury has another story where he married somebody who changes genders. Male to female, female to male. And Mercury himself wa wanted to get the same kind of benefit. Like, okay, in the morning you become a male. In the evening you make, become a female or vice versa. So there's this, these unusual stories happening with both Venus Saturn, you know, Saturn was born from this unusual dark shadow called Chaya. So they, they, they all relate to that. And I told you guys in my, I believe, Earth uh, Science Compatibility video of how this is much better than even the Dharma signs. Okay. But you got to understand one thing. These are all masculine signs. Okay. Gemini is a masculine sign, Libra is a masculine sign, Aquarius is a masculine sign. However, Aquarius is the highest of the masculine sign. And Gemini is much more masculine than Libra. So one thing you will see, they get along very well. Why? Because air mixes with air. Okay. Air blends in just like water. Okay. But the thing is when clean water mixes with dirty water, there's a reaction. When river water mixes with salt water of the sea, there's a reaction. Here you have air. Here you have this clean air coming in. This is why it's always a match. Whether it's Gemini, Gemini, Libra, Libra, Aquarius, Aquarius, or any of these three signs. The one thing you do see in terms of the difference in these signs is that Aquarius will ha hold more of a masculine decision-making compared to the other two signs. And between Gemini and Libra, Gemini will hold more of that masculine uh, energy within itself to control things. Because see, Libra is this junction between the first and sixth house and eighth and twelfth house. It is this middle junction. junction. Okay, and Libra, you can l literally see being this sign of balance, right, is the scales. It's always trying to juggle balance in its life because Libra is not a balanced sign. See, people think Libra represents balance. Oh, well, they're most balanced. No, it represents their whole life is about balancing things. It's always unbalanced, so they're always balancing things. They So their masculine energy goes into always just wanting to find this balance in life. It's never steady balance. Like, okay, now that is balanced. Now I can, you know, uh, exert my masculine energy into my work, my relationship, my family, my divinity. And that this is where that only difference that occurs. 
where these signs will get along very well, but Aquarius will hold the highest of sign. Now, out of all of these, okay, now out of all of these, these three signs, Gemini, as much as is masculine, it's also a child. And Aquarius is this old wise man pouring the wisdom of water or, or wisdom of knowledge, wisdom of life. So whenever the relationship of Libra and Aquarius happens with Gemini, even though Gemini has this masculine side, absolute masculine side, because especially Gemini is the original third house, right? Who's the significant of the third house? It's not Mercury. So guys, if you want to watch the full version of this video and my rest of the parts that I'll be putting for horoscope matching, please log on to KR's Vlogs on Magha Vedic Astrology Academy for that. The link is here under course section and you'll be able to watch this and the video that I'll be making tomorrow actually with using my board because I'm going to go into the other compatibilities. Aries Gemini. Aries Virgo, how do they, do they pan out? You know, Taurus Sagittarius, how do they pan out? Because it's a very simple secret to that. It's nothing complicated. It is a simple secret to that, that actually if you have taken my course on um, Vedic Astrology Simplified course, you will know. So we'll see you there. Bye-bye.